Hey guys, sorry for the delay in making this video. There was a few people who had commented asking about the NATO strap that I had for the Omega Seamaster. This is the older Seamaster uh, compared to the new one that just came out in 2018. I've already made a review. If you guys are interested, you can go have a look at that uh, just specifically on this watch and why I chose it over the 2018 variant. Not to say that the 2018 is not nice, it's also a very nice watch. So for this video, I'm just gonna go briefly. Uh, I mean, there's not much to say for the NATO and why I chose the Omega NATO over a standard generic NATO that you can get easily on the market. So as obviously know, the Omega NATO is very expensive. It's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's about $150 or something, something similar to that. Uh, when I did get the Omega, I had the metal strap that came with it, as mentioned in my last video. As much as I do like it, I just think that this watch just suits a NATO very well, and especially this uh, color that comes with the uh, different variants that Omega kind of uh, provides to each customer. And I think that this kind of color NATO is probably the best one because it is the original Bond NATO and suits the blue color as well. So. What I've got here is just a standard generic one, which is probably about $15 or something. And I just got this just so people can kind of see the differences between the two. Now, obviously there is a slight different difference in colors, but a big deal. Uh, I mean, it's a small price to pay in terms of just a slight design change. I mean, $15 versus $150 or however much it was. So um, let's kind of just go from top to bottom just so you guys can kind of uh, got to get a nice comparison between the two. So. With the buckle, the generic one has a nice simple buckle, nothing wrong with it. Uh, on the Omega one, we've got a cool Omega buckle here with the sign as well. So that's just a nice little simple touch. Uh, in terms of stitching, the stitching on the Omega is just very good quality. You can see there is no kind of variation in terms of how good the stitching is. However, with the generic one, you can see that there's a little bit of a uh, scuffle. Uh, towards uh, the edges where it's not fairly straight. So that's just something to take in into consideration. I mean, it's not a huge deal. You can kind of see a little bit more over here, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just something that the user itself will kind of notice over what other people would notice. So if you're a perfectionist and uh, I mean, if I'm gonna be wearing a watch of this caliber, you know, I do want everything to be perfect. So that's just me. Um, not to say that this is not good, so. Here you've got the uh, squarish, squarish kind of like uh, support buckles over here. Um, and here it's a little bit more roundish. Uh, both are fairly good, nothing wrong with either of them. In terms of the color itself, you can see that the Omega one is a darker gray here. Uh, and it's a little bit more smoother on the lines. As you can see here, see here between the black and the gray, while here it's a little bit more jagged from the generic one so uh, I mean it's you could just say it's a design thing I wouldn't say it's a flaw I do prefer the quality of the material nylon from the Omega it's just it's a bit more smoother it's not as thick as well so as you can see here I feel like this material here on the generic ones a little bit rough and probably on my wrist it would kind of cause a bit of irritation maybe observation there on the actual material quality uh, I definitely think that this Omega nylon material is just really really nice and uh, you definitely see it more when you're wearing it rather than just through pictures and things like that just a small little observation there on the bottom buckle clasp here you've got omega written here and nothing obviously on the generic one so um that's just i mean i can't really say much more about it i think that let me just remove my samsung watch which i've started to wear for work if anyone's interested in a review for it it's you know it's been very helpful for me so the cool thing here about the Omega NATO, let me just kind of quickly put this on for you guys. You guys can see. Let's put this on like this. And wrap it across. The nice thing about this NATO is that because you wear it so often and you're checking your, checking your time throughout the day, you've got the Omega here facing you and Although it's a very small touch, I find that that's uh, something that I like about the watch, that it's a packaged Omega deal with the strap and the watch itself. So, and you've obviously got the Omega here. So this is literally, in my opinion, a personal touch, whether you think it's worth the money or not. Uh, the quality itself is, you know, it's very good. It's probably top in its class. 
However, you know, you've got so many other natives that from different brands which are very similar in quality, but you know, it just doesn't have that little little bit of a sprinkle on it which you find that I find with the Omega Nato that you get from Omega. So um, I can't say anything bad uh, about uh, the other versions. However, you know, if you guys are interested in getting the Omega Nato, I definitely recommend it because it's just, it makes a nice total package for you. Uh, for the watch that you've got, whether it's the Seamaster or the Speedy or whatever, you know, so uh, yeah, that's just a short review guys and hopefully that's answered anything. If you have any questions or anything, let me know and uh, I'll try to answer them in the comments. Cheers.